Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. So we've got our team set up and now we're ready to start collaborating. And just as a review, let's take a look at our teams. On the Epic Architects team, we have myself, Eric Chappell. I've been inherited into the team because I'm a project admin, but we also have Paula White. And on the Madrigal Engineers team, our structural engineering company, we've got myself again, Inherited, and Tom Anderson. So what we want to do now is we want each of those teams to make the Revit models they've been working on available in the cloud for collaboration. So let's switch to Revit and see how that's done. So you can see here I'm in a Revit model. This happens to be stored locally. I've just been working on it on my hard drive. And I'm logged in as Paula White, one of the members of the architectural team. And Paula is ready to share this model in the cloud so that her internal team can work on it with her in Revit. And maybe some external teams can also collaborate with her using this, uh, using this model. So to do that, she's going to go to the Collaborate tab and then click Collaborate. We want to do this in BIM 360, so I'll choose that option. And then since I've chosen the BIM 360 option, we need to browse through the BIM 360 file and folder structure to locate where we want this collaborative model to be stored. So I'll go into the Account, Epic Architects, the Project, Office Building, and then I want to go into the Epic Architects team folder that we set up in uh, BIM 360 design collaboration in the previous video. So pointing to that folder, I'll click Initiate, and that starts the collaboration process. Now, what does that mean? What's happening here? And this is a really important part of the video to pay attention to. So there are a few things going on here. One, this Revit model is being placed in the cloud for Revit work sharing. And that state of the model is only going to be visible by other Revit users who have also been invited into the team to take part in cloud work sharing. That's one thing that's happening. Another thing that's happening is that this model is being published to BIM 360. So this Revit model is going to kind of exist in two states. The one that only Revit sees that's set aside for the cloud work sharing and the one that BIM 360 sees. Now, initially, right now, these two states of the model are going to match. They're going to be identical. And this is the only time in this process when the BIM 360 version is going to be automatically published. From this point on, every time I sync with Central in Revit, it is not going to republish the model and update it. Any subsequent publishes are going to be explicitly done by a user. Now, what does that mean? That means as I'm working in Revit or as my team is working in Revit, they're making changes, they're saving, and they're syncing with Central. And on a big team, you know, you could have hundreds of versions of that Revit file e even in a day's time. We wouldn't want all of those versions to make it up to BIM 360, where at the end of the day, we're all already on version 101 of the, of the BIM 360 version of the model. So instead, we have a more controlled approach. The internal team that's working in Revit and saving and syncing with Central frequently, when they hit a point in time or a point in the development of the model where they're ready to publish it for the rest of the rest of the design team to see, that's when they publish the updated model to BIM 360. And I'll show you how that works. So as I mentioned, we've done both just now. So if I switch over to BIM 360 and we go to the design collaboration tab, we'll see that there's something going on here. Now, again, in Revit, I just created the work shared model, but also the published version here to BIM 360. And we're seeing this kind of spinning circle here. That model is processing so that it can be viewed in the BIM 360 environment in 2D and 3D and all the different sheets and views that have been created for it. So in a few seconds, this will be done and we can actually view the model here in the BIM 360 environment. Okay, so our model is done processing. Let's take a look. Click on project model. And you can see the published version of the model that has been provided in BIM 360. So let's show how this whole publishing sync with central thing works. I'm going to switch back to Revit and I'm going to make a change to the model and sync with central. 
And let's do something obvious, like let's get rid of this car out in front of the building. So I'll just select that and click delete. And then I'm going to save and sync with central. So what's happening now is that version or that state of the model that only Revit can see, the cloud work shared version, is being updated. But what I haven't done is I haven't published the model. Remember, when I initiate collaboration, that happens automatically, but it's the only time it happens automatically. So right now, the published version of the model in BIM 360 is out of date with the cloud work shared model that I'm looking at here in Revit. In fact, if I go back to BIM 360, you'll see that even if I refresh my browser, which really isn't necessary, but just to prove to you that that's what's happening. If I take a look at the model, you'll notice that the car is still there. So how do I get things back in sync, back up to date? Well, the first question you have to ask is, is it really time to do that? Do I need to make a bunch of more changes before I'm ready for the, the larger team to see what's going on? If you are, then it's really easy to publish the latest version of the Revit model up to BIM 360. There's actually two ways to do it. One way is to simply click this button right here, update to latest. That's going to reach in and grab the latest Revit cloud work shared model and pull its changes up here into the published version. Another way you can do it is right from Revit. So from here in Revit, I can click manage cloud models and then go to my project and it's going to show me any cloud models that are associated with that project. Here we can see the one we were just working in and you'll notice there's a little icon next to it that indicates that I need to publish this up to the cloud. Uh, it's giving me the opportunity to publish the latest changes. Now, if they were in sync, if the latest changes had already been published up there, this would actually be a green check mark. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna publish the latest changes up to BIM 360. And that's going to run in the background. I can close this window. And if we switch over to BIM 360, you'll see that it says updating here. So that's going to work for a while. It's going to process that change and update the model as it's viewable in the BIM 360 environment. And when it does, we should see that the car is now removed from view because the most up-to-date version of the model will be available in BIM 360. Okay, so the published model is up to date. Let's take a look. And we notice right away as we zoom in that the vehicle's been removed from the front driveway. So that's the difference between syncing with Central and publishing the model to BIM 360. They're two different states of the model and just syncing with Central in Revit does not automatically mean it's going to publish those changes to BIM 360. You have to do that explicitly from either within Revit or, as I mentioned, using the update to latest button here in BIM 360. So we've got our architectural model up there for collaboration. Let's go in and do it for the structural model as well. I'm back here in Revit. I'm going to close down the architectural model and I'm going to log out as Paula White. And I'll log in as Tom Anderson. Remember, he's our structural engineer. So I'm here in Revit. I'm signed in as Mr. Tom Anderson and I'm in the structural model and I'm ready to initiate collaboration with this model so that I can work on it with my other team members on the structural team. So I'll go to the collaborate tab and click collaborate. Choose to do it in BIM 360. Browse to my account, my project, and my team folder, and I'll click initiate to initiate collaboration. And again, two things are happening. The, the cloud work shared model is being created for Revit, and the BIM 360 model is being published for BIM 360. And this is the only time where they will automatically be the same. From here on out, the saves and syncs with central that I do in Revit will not automatically be reflected in the BIM 360 version of the model. I have to update that manually by publishing the model. So now that that's all done, let's switch back to BIM 360. 
we'll switch to the Madrigal engineers, the structural team, and we've got the swirling blue wheel here telling us that the model is processing for being able to be viewed in BIM 360. In a few seconds, it'll be ready for us to look at. Okay, so that model's finished publishing up to BIM 360. We can click on the project model link and take a look. And there you can see that structural model that we were just looking at in Revit a moment ago. So the model's been published for both teams. We've got the architectural model and we've got the structural model. Now again, I'll one more time go over the fact that what we're looking at right now are the published models in BIM 360. These same models have also been made available in their Revit cloud work shared state for the internal teams to collaborate using Revit cloud work sharing. And we'll talk about that in the next video. So thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Be sure to keep checking back for more tips, tricks, and tutorials all having to do with BIM 360.